Right, what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the Cybex uh, Bravo machine, which is this piece of equipment here. The Bravo is a functional trainer, which means that basically it can be utilised for lots of different exercises. It's a cable pulley system, and we can attach handles to these uh, to move them around in different ways, okay? Each weight stack here is independent to itself, okay? So, first of all, we've got a selection of uh, equipment that we can utilise, so single handles. I'm going to place that onto here. Obviously, you could be using the um, single hand, uh, uh, handles or the ropes or bars. It's up to yourself on which exercise you're performing, okay? Now, we can move the handle up or down on this rail system here, okay? So all you do is take hold of the handle, unclip from the yellow handle from there, and then we're going to slide this up or down the rail like so. If you're taking it down to a lower position, remember safe lifting techniques, keeping the chest lifted, okay? The handle can also be rotated through this arm position. So we take hold of the yellow, um, rail, yellow ball, and then pull out the handle, and we can swing this around, different positions and that will go through a 270 degree range of movement from the top and round. Okay? So now first exercise I'm going to show you on here is going to be a um, chest press. Okay? So we're going to be working the pectoral muscles, the back of the arms, the triceps. Okay? So I'm going to just set this up correctly for myself. So I'm going to move this round. I'm going to place it onto an inner position. I'm raising this a little bit higher about chest height so that's about right for me there and then again I'm just going to slide this one up and take it up to the top again so they're at the same height there have a look at the weight stack and pin positions so I'm going to go select this same weight on either side like so okay so from here what we're going to do is we're going to take all the handles place it onto the chest and this one like so onto the chest stick yourself forward into a full brace position. So you need to brace through the body and then we're going to press out slow and controlled movements, exhaling on the outward face, soft elbows and extension, keeping a nice strong grip, knuckles facing forward. Okay. Once you've finished on the exercise, all you're going to do is walk it back under control and place handles back into position. Okay. So you're a little bit taller than me, so I'm just going to take this a little bit higher and we'll have a quick go from there. So take all the handles. That's good. Brilliant. Now just walk yourself forward and I want to find a good brace position holding yourself through there. Keeping a diagonal line, I want to just raise your elbow slightly up and now press out. Nice slow and controlled positions. Excellent. Exhale on the outward phase. Keep those knuckles facing forward. So straighten the arms, just off locking. Don't, don't lock out the arms. There you go, that's good. Excellent. Making sure you're keeping that good brace. Slow and controlled. Last couple of repetitions. Last two. And then final one. And then just return that back down into position from there. Okay. Now the cable there was on the inside of your elbow. So you were recruiting back of your arms, your triceps, like you would do on a normal press-up. What we can do with the cable position is move it, okay? So this is the benefit of this Bravo functional trainer. I'm going to take this to a wide position now, okay? And by doing so, we're going to put the line of force where the cable is onto the outside of your elbow. So, I'll again, just give you a demonstration. I possibly would have this slightly Lower down, I'm going to step forward, that's okay. And then from there, exactly the same in your brace, pressing out and back. Now you'll notice how the cable is on the outside of my elbow now. So I'm going to recruit more muscle fibers throughout the chest as it's trying to draw the arms out, okay? Also, we're bringing in bicep, the front of the arm instead of the tricep, as the arm is trying to be extended with the cable on the outside of the elbow, okay? so. I'm going to just have a quick go on there. Exactly the same position. That's good. And then again, brace yourself. And now I want you to just press out from there. I want to lower down. Bring your handles to a low position. There you go. And then again, press from there. That's good. Nice, slow and controlled. Exhale on the outward phase. That's good now. Working well. Keeping that brace. 
Nice strong wrists, knuckles facing forward. Soft elbows and extension at the top of the movement at the furthest points out. That's brilliant. A little bit wider with your hands for me on the way back. There you go, that's good. Last two of these. Final one. Excellent. And then return that back. So you should have felt that work in the chest a little bit more than you were on the normal chest press with the cable on the inside of the arm. Okay. Now, what we can also do with that particular exercise is we can take away the brace, okay, and we can re recruit more strength work through the actual chest, okay. So I'm just going to place this back to a, the inner position for the cable, okay, for this exercise. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in this pad here, okay. So I'm just going to swing that up to the top, and I'm going to place this onto your upper back, all right. Now the benefit of this path is that you're going to take away the brace muscles, okay, and we're going to bring in pure strength for the chest. This pad is going to stop you from returning back towards the cable position. So, we're going to take all the handles, again, from there, bring it around, rotating through, and then from there, again, all you're going to do is place your feet underneath the hips, and then press out, slow and controlled, exhale on the outward phase, strong wrists, knuckles facing forward, and a soft elbow on extension, okay? So, when we finish, all you're going to do is place your hand onto your chest, rotate it through, rotate it through from there, okay? Now, I'm going to change this position slightly. I'm going to take it up. Right. Okay. If you want to have a quick go at that one for me, so again, remember, take hold of the handle onto your chest and roll it round. Take hold of the handle, and then standing nice and tall, feet underneath your hips, and now from there, slow and control, out and back. Excellent. I want you to keep the balls against your arm as you return it down, okay? Just to there, that's good. And then press out, slow and controlled. Exhale on the outward phase. Keeping a strong wrist, knuckles facing forward. Soft elbows and extension, and you should be pressing yourself back into this pad. That pad is acting just like a bench would be if you're working on the chest press on a, uh, on a bench. So we can recruit more strength specifically on the chest and the triceps. Okay, last couple of repetitions. That's good. Last two. And then last one. And turn it back down, rotating through, that's good, just like so, excellent, okay. The final way I'm going to show you before in that chest press is we can bring in more core activation by bringing this pad down, okay. So this is fully stabilised, we're going to take it into a partial stabilised position. So I'm going to take this lower, just like so, okay. This pad can now be placed onto my lower back, alright. So, if I take all the handles, now I'll just return, take this to a lower position slightly for me. Again, I'm going to place it onto my chest and roll it around. Take it onto my chest. And then feet directly underneath your hips. Pressing your lower back or bottom area into the pad. And then from there, to perform the same exercise movement for the chest press. Again, keeping those balls just against the arm at the elbow position, okay? Now the idea is, is you need to stay upright nice and tall, and this pad that's placed onto your lower back will cause a levering effect, okay? So as we have to hold ourselves up against this pad, the abdominals will contract to hold you in that upright position, okay? So, if you want to have a quick go at that, we'll take this a little bit higher because you're a little bit taller than I am, so I'll place that to there. So, again, exactly the same way to roll it through, from your arm onto your chest. That's good. Okay, now feet together. Excellent. You want to fire up the abdominals nice and firm, holding yourself into position, and then back from there. Good, good. Full range of movement. Exhale on the outward face. Keeping those yellow balls against the arm. That's good. You feel that working down the abdominals and you're pressing that lower back area into that pad. So it's a lot more core activation. It's basically like doing a plank at the same time as doing this chest press. 
That's good. Last couple of repetitions. Last three. Last two. Excellent. And then again, rotate it through and back down from there safely. All right. So three different ways of utilising the area in front of the machine. Yeah, you can either perform a full brace position, recruiting your brace muscles. We can go into pure strength of the chest by bringing the pad into a fully stabilised position. Or we can bring it down into a partial stabilised position which will fire up your core muscles, the uh, rectus abdominis. Okay? So that's it. All right.